Welcome back, everybody, to the Camping Buddies podcast. It's been a hot fucking second. You could call this season two if you want to, but in reality, it was my fault, and I'm sorry, but fuck you at the same time. Uh, first topic today, I'm not even going to dive into literally anything. First else. topic. You know what? Can we restart that, that entire mind. intro? Yeah. You want to restart the entire thing? <laughs> you cut out so bad. Oh. Well, not on my end. I said, sure about that. I, I mean, okay, from the top, I guess. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to the uh, Camping Buddies podcast. Fucking start it over. Start it over. God damn. I, I literally, you made me study already. I'm keeping all of this. Okay. First topic is um, the One Piece live action. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I feel like it's going to suck ass. But that's because I want to go in there and be happy, like, pleasantly surprised if it doesn't. Um, without giving you expectations, all Alan said was just that he approves of it. Um, I just watched either episode two or three earlier, and I can already tell it's so much better than the anime. It's not better than the anime. It's so much better. The source material is better than anything else you're going to get. The fact that I haven't fully fallen asleep while watching it speaks miles. Like You watch it, but you watch it late at night, man. What can I tell you? No, I've watched the anime in the middle of the day. I refuse yeah. to believe that. No, no. I no, just... I, I'm on the same page as Hong Kong on that one. This is the only way I'm going to be able to watch the beginning of that anime. Now I can skip it and just go straight to like the next part. In because the anime? Right now in the anime, it's so boring. Yeah. But I don't know. Something about the live action made it exciting. I think it's because of all the anticipation. You guys are like... It's it's saddening, but it's also like, if this is what's going to get... If this is what's going to get you guys into One Piece, I'm all fucking for it. Fuck it. Like one thing I don't like about it is how censored it is. Okay, well censored? Yeah. In what like, way? In like the first scene, I think, on um the the girl pirate's boat. She Alvita. killed someone by yeah, Alvita. She killed someone, like hit him on the head, but they just like turn the camera away for that. And then show like the fakest blood splatter. That's what they do I mean, in like, the anime, like, too. I mean, why censor? Just full send. Make it, like, good. Not, not it's like, the it's like, thing is censored, though, you know? Yeah, it's like, the, it's like the scenes where someone gets, like, shot point blank in the head. You can only see, like, the silhouettes or, like, the shadows on the wall of, like, the yeah. whole event happening. You can't actually watch it happen. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. like that. It's just not how One Piece is. Like, if someone's gonna get fucked up, it's gonna be by it's gonna be by like a sword by like a main character, or it's gonna be by fucking a fist by a main character. I want I want the gore. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, what the f oh god, that that was a whole thing. That's that's some old news right there. Okay, um. Moving on, because there's not much for you guys to say otherwise, other than that, I'm assuming. Um, EDP apparently got caught again. I don't know all the details. I don't know if you guys did your little re did any research after seeing that. Um, Who's that? Eat that pussy. The guy who got caught with the cupcake. He's just looking for cupcakes. Is that the really fat black guy that was a pedophile? Yeah. Yeah, he got caught again. So, you know, that's nice. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like same situation, but uh, also different. Um, allegedly, he had been sending a minor um, like dudes and shit like that, just talking like horribly, you know, to a minor. And then uh, some random YouTuber dressed up like a cupcake and like had him meet him somewhere like anonymously or some shit like that. 
and like showed up and EDP was pissed or something. Obviously, I mean, if he just saw a giant, if he saw a giant cupcake, he'd probably be pissed. But like, um, he got caught again. But like this, this YouTuber who did like the like did everything this time, um, had said that. What's it called? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry. I'm losing my train of thought. I had actually gone through like all the right channels. So like EDP actually might face time for this. But unlike the last time, he just didn't. There was like no repercussion other than like not being allowed on the internet. So. Which didn't work. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. He his he, I think he has a YouTube channel again. Um, But that was after years and years of trying. Not saying that that's. Not saying that that's a good thing i'm just saying like fucking he tried so many other random things like he tried like really obscure websites too i don't know what the fuck he does for a living but the dude has to be homeless homeless sorry people Still. are just so scummy seriously he he's still in memes and shit like people still like use him for memes and like, um, I don't know. It sucks because like genuinely he was fucking hilarious, like for those memes. And now it's like every time I see him, it's like that dude's a pedophile. Shit. Last pedophile. Last pedophile. Honk, you doing any research? Yeah, I'm trying to look it up. Is EDP like his name? EDP four four five. Yeah, EDP four four five. It's his. It's his old YouTube handle. Uh, it was called. Uh, it stands for Eat That Pussy. So. What a guy. Yeah. Should be EDMP. Hey man. Hey man. <laughs> Still. Okay, Marvel Snap. <laughs> Um, I just what I was just playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this isn't like a hashtag ad or anything like that, unless you want to sponsor us, that'd be sick. Uh, Marvel Snap, shut the fuck up. Marvel Snap is pretty sick. Um, it I don't I've never played Hearthstone, but it feels like it plays like Hearthstone. And uh, I was just telling Alyssa that I'm addicted now. It's fun. Uh, that's literally all I really have to say about it. And there's like ads for it fucking everywhere, like on YouTube, on fucking TikTok and shit like that. I see it all the time. So I just kind of caved in finally. So you, so you had me download it like what two hours ago? Yep. And I played the tutorial or whatever, <laughs> and I wanted to quit after like ten seconds. It was boring and dumb and the more you play, the more you do it, the more like you kind of flow into it. Because I was the same, like at least in the very beginning, beginning. But like once you're through the tutorial and like you get more and more, more and more cards of like strategy. I don't know. I well, like it. That's the problem. It's a card game. That's just why it's boring. No, you should play magic. I don't play your fucking magic. It's real cards. This shit is. I kind of wish that they had physicals of these. Like, the cards in the game are actually kind of cool. I wish they had physical versions. I don't know. That's all I got. That's all I wanted to say. Anyways. <laughs> God damn, we are only at 10 minutes, and we've already gotten through three topics. Um, I think we're going to actually go with uh, Smash Mouth next instead of old stuff. Um, we lost an all star like four days ago, I want to say, right? I don't know, something like that. Last week, Smash Mouth's lead singer died. Um, that is pretty sad. Yeah, well, so it's sad, but I also like heard something about them like well, well before this happened, yeah. Wasn't he like an asshole while performing on stage? Like he would yell at the crowd. Yeah, Wasn't shit like he that. Was like tired of playing the same song. Yeah, probably. <laughs> They're like sick of 
people's certain type of energy or maybe lack of i don't know well i think he like would like also show up to his own concerts drunk oh yeah like i think i heard something like that and like he would all and like he said like he would yell at other people i'm not saying thank god he died he did give us he gave us a piece of history but like i just think you know he should have retired and this is one way of doing it this one way of doing (laughs) it No, I think he actually drank himself to death. They, he died at 56. There's no way he just, like, just croaked, you know? A lot of people croak younger than that, though. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. He's a rock star. Like, I feel like he could have had, like, a, like a better thing. He, they, like, looking at, like, the concerts that, like, was in the video that I watched where he was an asshole... They were actually pretty small. Like there were like Moda Center like worthy concerts, which makes sense because I don't know any other song by Smash Mouth. Let's let's see how many monthly listeners do they have? Eight point seven million monthly listeners. Damn! So, wow. Who's listening to All Star that much? <laughs> That's literally All Star. All Star's their top song, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's... a lot of people fuck with Shrek. I. <laughs> I'm going to look this up as well. We do. So it almost. All Star almost has a billion listens. Mm-hmm. And that is like oh. way more than all their other songs. Every... The second highest song is only 226 billion. Dude, yeah, All Star. All Star. (laughs) All Star is breaking records there. Also, I can't believe I forgot I'm a believer and can't get enough of you, baby. Wow. Wait, what the fuck? Latest release single. When was this released? This was released in 2023. Dead ass? That was like a month no. and a half ago. Yeah, that was a month. Okay. Yeah, this was month and a half ago. Otherwise, the last thing that they released besides that single was an album in 2001. No, 2018, 2012, 2012, 2005, Oh, that's popular releases. I thought that that was all their albums. Okay. Okay. Is this a Christmas special? I wouldn't doubt it. Yep. Dude, I'm looking at, like, the picture at the top for Spotify. And, like, the picture of, like, the rest in peace that I saw does not look like this guy. (laughs) Like... It looks like um like Jason Statham plus the rock plus some random British guy plus in the background fucking Weezer. <laughs> Weezer. <laughs> like dead ass though, like it's you got some big ass ears. Uh, and they sit so low. Those are almost on his neck. You're so judgmental. I'm sorry. It's just like I'm I'm making observations. You can't do anything about it now. Yeah. He probably should have when he was alive. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Um, yeah. Yeah, no. That's pretty sad. I, I, I feel bad that I totally forgot that they did have other songs. But I don't know what else they had that was actually new. So... It's not like the whole band's dead. It's just him. Well, he was the lead singer. Can't get that. You can't get that authentic all star anymore. I don't know. AI is pretty strong these days. I said authentic. <laughs> yeah. AI is pretty crazy, though. That's a topic in and of itself. Have you guys been seeing the AI covers all like all over your feed? Um, pretty you've much. sent it to me more than I've seen it, but yeah. It's mostly Adventure Time characters. Yeah. Like, they had, yeah. like, Marceline do, um... Oh, fuck. Uh, 
black sheep is it black sheep yeah yeah Come on. jesse sent me one of um garnet singing american boy i'm pretty Please sure send that to me, please. i'm pretty sure garnet <laughs> it's the same sing, yeah it's the same voice yeah it's 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 her like garnet already sings american boy wait that's her yeah that's the voice her actor is estelle the girl who sings the song originally. oh my god do i you learned something new <laughs> Yeah, um, I saw another one, which I think Hector sent me as well. By the way, Hector, if you haven't watched my TikToks, I'm going to fucking come for you. But um, Sigma, uh, they did that alone at, at the end of the oh, yeah. universe. That was like pretty good. I like that. Most of them have been BMO for me, though. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I only have one from you. Okay. Well, did you actually watch them? Because I know you had a lot yes. at some point. And you double sent me who things I sent you. Oh yeah. I sent you one double like sent you sent me two. two. You sent me you two. Sent me you sent me two. You sent me two of those ones that I just sent you. Okay, well, if I'm watching on my feed, I'm not checking my messages at the moment. You make me sick. So if we have the same Damn. thing on our feeds at the same time and send them to each other at the same time, I'm gonna. Uh, what I know. Okay. Anyways, um, anyways. um, Sonic statue. Uh, Sonic statue. Okay. Just deafen for a minute. Shut the fuck yeah. up. Listen, to, listen here, pally boy. One of the statues that was uh, discovered like four years ago, discovered like four, shut the fuck up, Alyssa. Was that was discovered like four <laughs> years ago, um, <laughs> in a random office building, like buried under like a million files for whatever fucking reason. Like it was just buried in paper for whatever reason in a room. Um, was recently discovered. Uh, and the Sega posted the video 13 days, well, I guess like 15 days ago now, um, where they found him again in a random dark ass fucking sewer looking corner of what looked like an abandoned ass building. Dirty as all fuck. Like I can pull up a little picture that I screenshotted. This is what they found. Like, looks uh, fine. No, that motherfucker's in the back rooms. Look at the fucking floor. Can't really see it that well, but yeah, no, that shit. He looks fucked up. Um, like rotting and shit. But Sega is the one that posted the video, and someone like walked over, pulled a tarp off of the Sonic as if there was as if that was helping it, like at all. And uh, Sega got him and restored him. And now he's in Sega HQ, fully restored. You can kind of tell, like, they, they had to, like, cut off his arm and, like, redo it. Because there's, like, a little black line. But that's it. Cool, otherwise. That motherfucker was rotting, though. I don't know how it went. Like, my only question is how it went from that random office building under millions of papers to the fucking back rooms. That's my only question. So... I don't know. That's my topic. I had a lot of fun with that. That was cool. Thank you guys. Thank you for listening. Uh, we'll see you next time on the Camping Buddies podcast. Um, <laughs> okay. Honk, why don't you talk about Taylor Swift? What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, I was thinking we should do it before your little Sonic rant. It's music, music. But um, I just think it's pretty mind blowing. How Taylor Swift has gone from like, I don't know, like C or B list to like Beyonce level fame. Like, it's insane how much people have been going crazy about her the last like month or two with yeah. her, what, her album and her tour. Yeah. Everything I've learned about Taylor Swift has been against my will and has been frequent. 
Yeah. It's like <laughs> she's everywhere now. It's like she's the yeah. most famous person on the fucking planet. Yeah, no, she's like I've seen like the like videos of the concerts and shit. Like the fans are like crazy. Like insanely crazy. Mm. Like they're like claw your eyes out crazy. Like it's fucking I hate it. There's a Twitter page dedicated to pointing out celebrities that go to Taylor Swift's tour. Yeah. Really? Because there are just so many even celebrities going to her fucking show. Like, is her music that good? It's not. Not to me. It's always just been like, fine. Yeah. Whatever. Like, maybe a song will be stuck in my head for an hour or so, but like, I'm not happy about it. (laughs) <laughs> i think the entire like stadium or like whatever you want to call it is just filled with um girl bosses like i feel like they're like yes the girls yes and the gays. Huh. i don't know about the gays even like I, no yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, think yeah. so absolutely yeah uh well i don't fucking know like taylor swift back in the day was always known for was known for like the country music um well she got out of that pretty quick well now yeah she's been with pop for a long time now but like way way back in the day started country and then um every single song was about x i don't know if that's the case now but that's why i feel like every one in the stadium was a girl boss because it's like fuck it we don't need no man you're all we need, our Lord and Savior, Taylor Swift. Like, I don't know. She's like, she's yeah. always been known for writing about exes. Yeah. Like, That's after true. her and what Harry Styles broke up. I forgot that a was little a while thing. after that, she came out with an album. And yeah. Who else? I think she did some short guy, not Bruno Mars. Did she date Bruno Mars? I don't, so. don't actually know. I think no, Bruno Mars has been married since like 2011. Oh, I don't know shit about that guy. <laughs> I haven't actually heard anything about Bruno Mars in like forever. I see him pop up every so often. People find him really attractive, so there's a lot of their traps. Oh, yeah, I oh. fucked the shit out of Bruno Mars. Mm-hmm. Short King. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Velma. Oh, like... Yeah, this so I saw this video about Taylor Swift's songs the other day, and it was like every song where she rhymes car with bar. And it was like at least 15 different songs where she does that. Whoa. And they're all okay. like along the same fucking lines. Damn. She's like, conning y'all. Yeah. Like, I feel like, like there's some kind of like hidden message. Like... Every, every single fan is just like a fucking winter soldier. And like as soon as they hear like a Taylor Swift song, they're like, ready to comply. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. Know. Just with her whole sudden explosion of fame, it reminds me of like the whole Illuminati theories and stuff. Like you sign your soul away and you get like immense fame. I feel like, what if she did something like that? What if she's actually in the fucking Illuminati? And that's where this is coming from. <laughs> she really so, did get an insane burst out of fucking nowhere. Um, Her old music, the rights, she didn't own them. Her old manager or something owned them. And so recently she came out with all those songs entirely new. Like she had to reproduce all of them releasing all of them so that she could have the rights to them so that she could actually make money off of them so it was like tons of songs like at least two albums wait so she just had like two albums under lock and key for a while no because she didn't own them so like people were still buying them just she wasn't getting the money for it her manager was so she so just like reproduced them. Yeah, re recorded them. Oh. But if the manager has the rights, how does she have the right to do that? Um I don't know. Something Confusion. legal. Something yeah, legal. something legal. <laughs> and, oh, that was probably the, the soul thing right there. I'm sure she went through a lot of steps, you know. 
I don't know. Maybe, she bought, like... maybe she, had, she bought them back, but then she had to re-record them in general. I don't know. I don't know. I, I do find it super fucking weird how she has so many random fans now, though. Like, it's like, um, shit. I'm trying to think of another one where, like, people just came out of the fucking, like, woodworks for this band. Shit. I feel like this has happened before, but I can't remember who. Maybe Bieber? Maybe Bieber? I'm not sure. I don't know. It's just like, it's fucking weird. Like, music, I, I don't like her music, but I also like, I can see why people like it, I guess. But it's also like, this has been out for a bit. She has a new album. Sure, that's crazy. Like, Doji has a new album. We're like, and we're like, pumped about it, but we're not like, throwing our fucking shit all. Oh my God. Have you guys been seeing the Drake things? Where people keep throwing like bigger and bigger bras at Drake. No. <laughs> Not like once. He he like he's just like 36 I what does this shit go up to? And like I think so it was L. Yeah, someone like threw like a ginormous pink one. I don't even know what fucking size what size. And he goes, We might have a winner right here. I don't know. This one's that's pretty hard to beat. I don't know why. It's kind of funny. Yeah. That's that's been on my feet a little bit lately. I don't like Drake either. No, I actually can't stand Drake. Really? I hate his music. Was he the one who said uh he said she's a lesbian girl, me too? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool stuff. I yeah. have nothing else to add to the Taylor Swift thing. Yeah, I think okay. that's pretty much done. Um, let's see. Addictions worsening. Oh, you want to do Baldur's? We can do Baldur's. Let's do Baldur's. Um, I don't know shit about it. Everyone wants to fuck the demon, the tiefling. Uh, it looks like fun gameplay. It looks like. I saw that you can punt a squirrel, but you don't know why. <laughs> um, I saw a clip today where I don't. It was like a deception roll or something, and dude got a twenty, and the options were like, comment something, just watch. Like there was like a prize wheel spinning. Just watch it in silent or let out a massive fart. <laughs> yep. And he chose the massive fart and i don't see what the point of it was but you can do that <laughs> nice. pretty good um there's also uh what's it called fuck, 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 fuck. What, uh oh at the beginning of our campaign uh me and heck me and hector's character uh tried to throw Alyssa's character which is what do you call those tabaxi, tabaxi. yeah which is a tabaxi so we tried to chuck a cat and i saw a clip we're in Baldur's Gate where someone chucked a cat. It was awesome. Yeah. It was a player, right? Yeah, yeah, someone turned into a cat. Yeah. And then they chucked him. Mm -hmm. I felt so good about that. It was like, that's just perfect. They nailed it right We did head. it first. <laughs> <laughs> we did it first. People don't know it. Um... Yeah, it just feels like a real D and D campaign. It's it's actually pretty nice. I haven't played it, but all the clips I've seen. Yeah, we definitely gotta it. pick it up. Yeah, we definitely gotta pick it up at some point. Um, another game we gotta pick up is Lords of the Fallen. That's a Souls like, and that is fully multiplayer. That shit looks amazing. <laughs> pretty cool, dude. Alyssa, I know you didn't play Elden Ring. But this one you have to pick up. <laughs> this one she has to pick up. I wonder if there's like a like a like a cleric class. Like I wonder if she could just buff us. Like healer. Uh, do you know when it said the release would be? No idea. I haven't even looked into it too much more than like the trailers and stuff. Right. It's it's pretty cool because you can play through the whole game multiplayer. 
like side by side. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't. So in Elden Ring, for those who don't know, um, you can summon a friend, but they're only allotted like either a set amount of time or a set amount of space. And like, yeah, in a certain area. Yeah, which I hate. Like, just run it with me the whole time. Ah, God, I, I'm I'm really hyped for it, but like, uh, it it it's sad to like see how like something is doing something better than Elden Ring, because Elden Ring was such a good game. But I don't know, Lords of the Fallen looks pretty sick. I'll play I'll pay sixty bucks for that. Which one are you more excited for, Baldur's Gate or Lords of the Fallen? Lords of the Fallen. Lords of the Fallen. Baldur's. And um, I saw that Wukong game. Oh, yeah, the Monkey King. There was a right. new teaser gameplay trailer for it. It's supposed to be like a Sekiro, right? Yeah, it's it's pretty similar. Which is another Souls like. Yeah. But it's I'm... exciting. Like there was a teaser for it like five fucking years ago or something, and then there was just no news up until now. I think I saw some news about that as well. I'm gonna let Mally out. I'll be... You guys keep talking. Cat. Oh, you know what game you guys need to get? Deceit is free right now because they're coming out with Deceit 2. I think Deceit 2 comes out on the 14th this month. Um, so Deceit is obviously like a lying game. Um, one or two people are can like transform into these creatures after you drink blood bags. So you have to try to do that like sneakily around the map. And then also like the people that aren't the creatures have objectives to try to get out. So it's like Among Us, um, but like more gory. Yeah, way more gory and terrifying and aggressive. Okay. And it's free? Yeah, the first one is. I'll try it. Cool. Hell yeah. If it's free. Yeah. Shit, I ain't got money otherwise. <laughs> What's another game that we're all looking forward to? It definitely lowers the fall, and like I said, Baldur's Gate 100%. You know what really fell off? Or, I mean, I didn't play it and I wasn't going to play it, but the op. Diablo fell off. I had no interest in it. Me either. Holland was just talking about that the other day, saying how it just, they stopped paying attention to it. Yeah, just like randomly. See, I'm good. I'm good. I'm alright. Yes. You know what is in another heist season right now? Fortnite. I saw they're doing like a Hunger Games thing with it. What? Like yeah, a like, like uh, a collab? No, it's like there's uh like in Hunger Games there's a cornucopia and then there's like all the oh yeah positions around and then you start and the last person alive wins. Is that the is that um is it like a like a creative island or is it like an actual thing? I don't know. It seemed like it might have been a mode, a game mode. Okay. But I'm not sure. Fortnite's got so much fucking shit now. No, it seems like it's kind of fun, especially with like, especially with like the rocket shit. But I don't know. You gotta, you gotta head to all all the older stuff. Not all the older stuff. Like lightsabers, Captain America shields. Yeah. Yeah. That was just the minute time. Yeah. It's it's like the web slingers um and shit like that. Um they have a, a whole bunch of fucking ways of traversing though. So Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this is the first season where like no one important is in the battle pass, like no one like newsworthy. It's that guy who like does like the whole obvious face thing. I forgot his name. Where he's just like Like he doesn't say anything. He just like someone walks through a door and then he just like opens the door instead of walking through it and he goes. 
Yeah. No. Okay. Um, I don't know. Fucking, I don't even think audio listeners are even gonna get, know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> like, there's, there's no way, there's no way of me explaining that. So that's good. Um, let's see, what's next? Anyways, but Overwatch. Um, oh, how ridiculous was it to pay fifteen dollars for the three story missions? Pretty fucking ridiculous. What? Yeah. yeah. You didn't know about that? Um, no. Yeah. So there were three new maps and entirely new story missions, and um, the only way to access it is paying for it in the shop 15 bucks. What the fuck? I watched gameplay with cutscenes on YouTube because that's too much money. <laughs> it's money in general like they should have made yeah. the first one free so like it's more like so i'm more incentivized to like finish the story yeah well they had the they had one story mission free but that was just a limited time thing like it finished up today it wasn't even like part of the story it seems like it seems like it was in such a weird spot like, there was no like context or anything as far as I could tell. Mm -hmm. Iggy. Iggy, who the fuck is Iggy? Um, Tracer's talked about her a little bit. She has the vo voice lines, random voice lines. Yeah, um, see, I don't know. I don't know. I still think it's stupid that you have to pay for it. If I if they made it good and um then asked to pay for it. Like, like, if they did this one free and then the next one wasn't, it'd make a little bit mm -hmm. more sense. But Ana's Mythic is pretty cool. Ana's Mythic is pretty sick. I've, it's definitely grown on me. I had enough coins for the battle pass and I got it. I'm a real Ana main. <laughs> Destroy that. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Um, cool, that's it. Uh, <laughs> what else we got, boys? There's addictions, old news. I think it's literally just addictions. And well, you said Starfield, Alyssa. Do you know anything about Starfield? Oh yes. So did did Bethesda make it? Yeah, Bethesda made it. Okay, because when I was watching my buddy Z play, it had incredible like Skyrim feel. You know, like you can grab literally everything, like the pens, the folders, a plant, everything, just like Skyrim, you know. Right. Um, but you start off as like a miner, you're mining some ore. Oh, that miner, <laughs> not a child. <laughs> Your eyes open and, like you um... need to be. <laughs> What's the cupcake? And then um something about your ship it crashes, I think, at some point. And there's some pirates, some space pirates. Yeah, I don't really know much about the game, but the feel of it, if you like Skyrim. It's like super like open it. world, right? Like there's yeah. a whole galaxy to explore. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, I so I liked Fallout, but I fell off. I fell out of it, and like it definitely said it says Fallout in space for me. Like even like with like the technology, it seems like it's old but new at the same time. Right. So it's like really weird. It's not like cyber. Um, it's not like cyberpunk, but it's like I don't even know how to explain it. It's like fifties future. I don't know how to explain it. Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop is actually perfect. Someone mentioned there was going to be something new about Cyberpunk. Was oh, it really? a new game? Or something like that? Definitely not a new game. Um. Oh, just DLC. DLC of Phantom Liberty. 
Yeah. It comes out on the 25th. Yep. Yeah. I'm, um, I didn't, I didn't play Cyberpunk. I watched the anime. I didn't play it. So. <laughs> yeah. That's it for me. Um, cool. Uh, worsening addictions. <laughs> yeah, we're getting pretty bad with it. Um, I'm almost done with my master set. Hector is really almost done with his master set. Ash is almost done with her master set. Like you know what's you know what's happened to us since the last episode. What's that? We received our slabs. Oh, correctamundo! I get to show that off. Correctamundo. The fuck is that? Or graded cards. What does it mean? So this raw is like, uh, eighty bucks. This mm-hmm. inside of this is now worth one hundred forty dollars. It was graded. It was graded a nine. It's just like grading the condition and whatnot of it, and it seals it so that it can never be ruined. What's the inside one worth, and what's it now worth? This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one sixty without the case, probably around two hundred with. The grading. Yeah. I don't remember. I gotta take a look at it. Yep. But yeah. And it's just Are been you getting gonna sell them? No. No. What? No. These we like are them. my childhood collection cards and whatnot. Ooh, we also just pulled the terastalized Zard. Which I'm gonna go get graded. Do you have any other cards that are graded? Uh, I have one other card that is graded, and it is an eight. Um, how much is that worth? One sec, I have to go beat the shit out of my roommate. Okay, Honky can talk about all of his. Oh, just wait. Oh, just wait. Please hold. <laughs> There's more. Please hold. I'm gonna say I think your addiction is worse. Nah, I don't know. If these it, are, yeah, these are all my graded cards. Yeah, it's all. It's mostly just like my childhood ones from my collection that I found, and I just wanted to like keep them in a sealed case so they don't get ruined even further. Some of them are like three point five grades, which is not good. So I don't want mm. them to get worse. This is an eight. I got it for twenty bucks, so it's worth twenty twenty bucks. This one's cool. Oh, it is cool. Ta-da. How much did you pay for that again? Uh, thirty. Yeah, I think that was a. 30. Yeah, I think that's a promo. Which one is worth the most no. that you have? Uh, the first one that I had out. Hmm. First go? one for me as well. Yeah. That's from the Silver Tempest set. My master set. Oh, you know they're selling a Lugia at Columbia? Which one? That one. How much? I think like a hundred. Graded or raw? Raw. Raw. Huh. Yeah. Well, I already got mine, so... Yeah, no, we're, but, um, our addiction has gotten far worse, and I am all here for it. Um, no, I've chilled out. He has chilled out. I've been asking him to get cards, and he's been saying, no, money, no, I, money. I got the one card that I really wanted, and I got all my childhood ones graded. I think I'm chilling for a while. I think he's also saying that because um, he's not like crazy about uh, the Scarlet Violet sets yet. Yeah, I haven't really seen anything that grabbed my interest all that much. Yeah. I feel like if they have like something to do with Kyogre at some point, you'll get into it, but. Oh, that'd yeah. be sick as fuck. Yeah, see? <laughs> um. 
Yeah. Fucking nerd. What about you, bitch? What's your addiction? Mm, I don't have one. Overwatch. Overwatch. Oh wait. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, day in, yeah. day out, day in, day out. She's fucking rises and when grinds. When I play that game too much, I dream about it. You dream about it. I actually had a dream about Starfield randomly, and it was because of Honk. It was really weird. I had a dream that you that stole your sister's copy of Starfield. Me? That's yeah. Weird. That makes no sense at all. I don't know, man. <laughs> I just work here. She doesn't have Starfield. <laughs> I don't. I I don't know, man. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, he's he wants to show off more. Okay, no, 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 no. no you 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 wanna you wanna show off more? It's fine. I guess when I got recently in a trade <laughs> with Mold here, <laughs> I traded him a Galarian Galley Archery Arceus. Ar Arcreus, Pancreas. <laughs> this, is, this is my promo Charmander from Obsidian Flames. That one is really that cool. Really cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one of my childhood ones, but they didn't fucking grade it for some fucking reason. I showed you on Inflareon from the jungle set. Hollow Unlimited. Very okay, I'm cool. done. Carry on. <laughs> now okay. he's embarrassed. No, he's not embarrassed. Just a little bit. <laughs> it's a little, okay, he's a little embarrassed. Actually, actually, I also have to show off. Oh my god! <laughs> Tag team. Are you gonna get that one graded? Probably eventually. Yeah, I think you should go to Ace for it. I think AGS. I like theirs. True. Um. And what was I gonna say? Um, moving on to stuff that we've missed since we've been gone. Um, the submarine thing that happened. First off, let's all laugh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Why are we what kind of fucking um, love? What kind of one piece ass laugh was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the fuck was that? Well, I was just, I was just like hesitant to laugh because of only not feeling bad for the old people but like feeling bad for the 19 year old yeah 19 year old didn't deserve it but like everybody like, else he shouldn't have been dragged into it yeah by his dad but the rest of them signed their lives away in my opinion yeah and it, and i think like someone actually saw like like people are actually able to find the uh the controller. Like the, the controller. Yeah. Yeah. Like after everything had happened, they found the controller. Hmm. So I heard but, the government is stepping in and trying to stop other people from trying to recover more stuff from the Titanic. Like no idea. one's learned their lesson. <laughs> what are they? They're not even. They weren't even trying to recover anything. That's the crazy part. They're just. They're just looking at yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Now people are trying to recover stuff. What's there to recover? It's yeah, I don't. I don't know. Junk now. Yeah. yeah. Fucking so, rusty junk. Yeah, like a few weeks Thinking ago. in the museum. I saw like an update on, like, what could have possibly happened, during the actual mm -hmm. thing. And it was, like, a lot more in-depth on the science of it all. And, like, since the hole was made partially of carbon fiber, I think they were having issues with, like, like, they could hear the cabin, like, having structural issues. And they were trying to ascend at some point, but they were having trouble ascending. And, like, the people up top knew that kind of like you i think they had the voice recordings of everything mm -hmm. and they like dropped something to help them go up but over like hours they only went up like 75 feet and then they lost power and then nose dived all the way to the bottom and then they blew up 
and it they made it seem like the people up top knew like when the implosion happened like even the coast guard could hear the implosion happen like with sonar or something but for a couple days they let people believe that there was still hope even though there wasn't any chance I don't know, man. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have gotten on that shit. Nope. Yeah. You know, what was really cool was when they had those submarines at Disneyland. That was wild. You remember those? They had the Finding Nemo ride. Like the Little Mermaid. Oh. Yeah, it's the little Finding Nemo ride. I don't think I've ever actually been on it. I think the lines were always long. Oh. Yeah, they were actually ridiculously long now that I think about it. And then they just weren't one day. Imagine spending that much money on a submarine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um fuck. What's another thing that we definitely missed? Um all the wildfires. Hellfires. A homeless camp Hawaii. in Seattle blew up. Hawaii happened. Yeah, I heard about that after the fact. I heard that there was fires in Maui, and then a tornado hit it, and so the fire just turned it. The tornado turned into a fire nado. Yeah. Which Is it a tornado or a hurricane? Um, or I think a tropical storm. Why would you say that? Like tornado for them. <laughs> Why did you say know. that like you were theorizing or a tropical store? I don't fucking know, man. I, I don't know. That is I pretty think sad. It's tornadoes in Hawaii. I don't know how many people even died. Um, there's like 1,200 kids missing right now. Huh? Damn. Yeah. That happened like a while ago. To damn, that's rough. That I'm surprised isn't like bigger news. Like that's some like Pompeii shit right there. There's 388 people still missing. Oh, where did this number come? More than 2,000. To be fair, Alan was my source, and Alan is never right. <laughs> Damn it, Alan. Well, mm -hmm. it said it said at one point the number was beyond two thousand, but ever since mm -hmm. it's gone down. Okay. Wow. That is still a pretty big number of people missing. Yep. Yeah. I mean, if they're still missing, they're probably. Dead. I'd say so. Yeah. What happened to like the tornado afterwards? Yeah. Like, did it just like go out? What yeah. Like, there's a, if the tornado that hit the island <laughs> came in fiery inferno that fucked everything up. And like now they're like starting recovery on Maui. I'm gonna the fucking tornado that hit them in the first place. They just like dissipate. Maybe it That's was just the hurricane. Maybe it wasn't the tornado. I don't know. Well, like if it was on fire, it's like, damn. I don't fucking know. Fire. That's some like Mortal Kombat shit. Like it's like a fire. It's not like an actual entire fire tornado. It's just like the tornado carries the fire a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't like put it out. Or like kicks up the wind to push it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but man. Also the hurricane Hillary. Mm -hmm. That fucked up all the roads here. I mean there you guys got rain. I wouldn't even be complaining. Yeah, true. We finally got rained on, you know. <laughs> Been in a drought for like 30 years. <laughs> but 
like the mud was destroying like businesses like he broke the windows in the glass and everything and there's piles of mud that they had to push off the roads that are as tall as houses that are just in the lots yeah it's like pretty bad and there's roads that are just completely destroyed because well they weren't built that well yeah no they were not i remember driving the sand (laughs) the sand below it just gets eaten away and so the roads are now fucked (laughs) yeah my mom went from wildfires to hurricane to wildfires and hurricane to no power to like it's the whole wazoo and i'm like y'all need to move like what the fuck are you doing such a bad area (laughs) yeah I don't know. I didn't have to deal with shit. It, it rains up here regardless. Ooh, Burning Man is going on right now, and they got rain also. Oh, and... that was probably such a sad turn. Yeah, that was really bad. Uh, they It was actually declared a national disaster because people couldn't leave because of how mm, the mud was so thick that everyone was getting stuck and so like if you're running out of food and water you had to hike on foot and cleaners couldn't get in to clean the restrooms so those overflowed someone died while they were out there not entirely sure how but i did hear that that happened i feel like that might have been unrelated Right. Might have OD'd. OD'd, yeah. It is burning, man. Um, Did they even people get were to walking burn around man? barefoot? I think they did. I think it stopped raining long enough. I think they were doing it, like, today or last night. But a lot of people were walking around barefoot, so they're probably going to get fucking trench foot. Yeah. Nasty ass. But, I mean... Happening in their shoes. Climate change is wild. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, well, is there anything else we missed? Off the top of your head? I know there's shit that we missed. I I, I know there is. I'm probably gonna think about it next... I'm probably gonna think about that shit next episode. I think we did pretty good. Yeah, for now. I'm sure Kelly will bring something up. Yeah. Why didn't you guys talk about how good Diablo is? Why didn't you guys talk about the Barbie movie? Why didn't you talk about Oppenheimer? I don't know. That's what that's what he sounds like, by the way. A um, little bit. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for listening to this episode of the Camping Buddies. We miss you. I don't think you missed us, but we, but we miss you, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.